Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to demonstrate on how you can take advantage of the Animate LCM feature within the Animate Diff Evolved custom node within Comfy UI. Animate LCM basically allows you to generate animations in about half the time. It's a huge performance gain without very much loss at all. So to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Comfy UI and just pull up the manager here. And you're going to want to go ahead and click Update All in order to get the latest version of Animate Diff Evolved onto your system. Now, if you don't have it uh, installed, just go ahead and install it as a custom node. Then once that's set, you're going to want to head over to the Animate LCM repository on Hugging Face. And then within the files and versions, download both the LoRa and the Checkpoint, and then add them to the relevant folders within the Comfy UI directory. Okay, so once you have that all set up, it's time to set up our workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and put together a basic workflow here. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and load a LoRa, and then I'm going to go ahead and use that one that I just downloaded from Hugging Face and select it here and pass my model along with the clip output from my model checkpoint um, into the LoRa. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the clip to the positive and negative prompts. Okay, so next up we have to add Animate Diff to our workflow here. So I'm going to go ahead and load a Animate Diff model and then apply Animate Diff model. And then I also get the context options and I'm going to go ahead and make a looped video. And then I'm going to use the evolved sampling. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these uh, configured as well as connected. So. For the load animate diff model, we're going to go ahead and use the one again from Hugging Face that we downloaded. Otherwise, if we use an existing one, it's going to look a little cartoony and not going to look that good. Next up, we're going to go ahead and pass our model to the animate diff uh, custom node here and then connect it to our case sampler. And then for the motion module, we're going to go ahead and connect it to the apply animate diff model. And then for the M models, we're going to connect it here to the evolved sampling node and then the context options as well too. Now you can also add a motion lower such as like zoom in or pan and so on. Uh, so that's an option to also add there too. And since we're doing a looped video, I'm gonna go ahead and do close loop to true. And then for the beta schedule, you can just leave it on auto select. Now, if you are more of an advanced user, you have uh, some LCM options in here, uh, but we'll just for this demonstration use auto select. Okay, so that's basically everything that you need to do for Animate Diff. So now you will want to go ahead and set your case sampler accordingly. So we're going to go ahead and just put a fixed seed, uh, at least just for testing. And then as far as the steps, for an LCM, uh, Laura, you can go anywhere roughly at least four steps. You can go a little bit higher for a little bit better results. For this demonstration, we're just going to go ahead and double it and go to eight. Now the CFG scale though does have to come down uh, quite a lot, so it needs to be anywhere between 1 and 2.0. So <clears throat> I'm going to just split it in the middle here and go for 1.5. And then with the sampler name, I'm going to go ahead and select LCM. And this is very important here and leave the scheduler to normal and the denoise to 1.0. And then as far as the number of frames that we're going to create, I'm going to go ahead and create 64 frames at 512, 512, and then go ahead and connect this latent output to a VAE decode, and then to the video combined custom node. I'll also put a link to this custom node within the description. And then I'm going to just go ahead and make sure I have my positive and negative prompt set up there, and then start beginning to do this animation. So. Given that this is LCM, it's only going to take a few minutes to complete. So let's go ahead and uh, fast forward here. Okay, so after 1 minute and 50 seconds, we are able to create this short form video here. Now I'm going to just go ahead and boost up the frames per second to just a hair and then do a H264 output so it looks a little bit nicer. So I can go ahead and share it with you guys here. But there we go. A very short form video of 64 frames and using the brand new Animate LCM feature within the Animate Diff custom node for Comfy UI. Now, if you have any questions on this workflow, please drop a line in the comments below. The link to the workflow is also in the description if you want to go ahead and download it and test it out yourself. And of course, if you like the video, consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.